Hi and welcome to the Hartfield Alchemist channel. So in this video I'm going to be looking at the Divine Masculine. So this time it's the masculine active part to the soul, to our energy fields, that that resides within, everything to do with that positive masculine energy. Okay, let's see how that's doing during this phase near the lunar eclipse. What are the blessings for our masculine aspects? Masculine's being stubborn. Where are we stubborn in ourselves? over things that we don't need to any longer. Patience. It's purity from these lovely Lemurian style child oracle by Leanne Carpenter and Michael or Michelle Kroon. Number one, you are pure, open spiritual eyes. So I'm going to say that in heart space, this divine masculine energy I'm going to feed into the collective here for that. It's had a bit of a battering, hasn't it? It's out of balance, out of control in some cases. And it doesn't know which way to go in the collective. Obviously, within yourself, that's a totally different matter. But we're looking at how we can help the collective on this one because that's what I feel I'm drawn to. Okay, so purity. It's almost as if when we feel pure in ourselves, pure of vibration, pure of heart, pure in our thoughts, pure in our motivation, our intentions, that sort of clear energy, then that can go into the field of the collective where it will affect the masculine and I feel great nurturing is required it's certainly going to be required over the next few years so how can we all do our bit with that um it's about holding the best vibration you can and the balance within yourself of masculine feminine energies and just doing your best with that so don't try too hard. Don't make it be a big effort. Just set your intention daily, weekly, monthly to be your best in your clarity and the purity that you're holding. Each day you can do a little more. Small steps towards holding a much clearer, purer vibration and not being really upset if the day's gone awry, gone crazy. That's fine. Um, it's how you get back into your rhythm and stride and your vibration and how soon you can manage to do that that matters more than if you came out of heart space. And I'm all about heart space, so I'm always teaching um, what it is to be in heart space. Okay, so it just takes you out of the head and the thinking, thinking, thinking brings you into this heart space where you know how to feel, you know what you want, you know what to do and how to be part of a useful being in the collective. 
So, beautiful ones. Many blessings.